Welcome everyone, this is Vlogs of an Idol, my name is Joen. Have you guys heard of the brand Honor? You know the sub-brand that Huawei introduced to market out in countries that they're banned from or something like that? <laughs> well, Honor released their very own true wireless earbuds. Introducing the Honor Choice Muaken. It's Muaken, not Muasin. I don't know. Muaken, Muasin. I'll, I'll stick with Muaken. <laughs> it's so timely na nagkaroon ako ng ganitong earbuds because I am owning right now a Huawei Nova 5T which I'll be reviewing in a couple of weeks. Antayin nyo lang kasi medyo sinasetup ko pa. It's been like a few days since I've owned this at sasanayin pa natin sarili natin para before we give out a review. Anyways, does this earbuds look familiar to you? I mean, I think I saw this design last October 31, 2019. Maybe, I guess, na ano lang, naguguni-guni lang yung utak ko. Nah, I'm just kidding. Yeah, it looks like the AirPods Pro. <laughs> the design looks exactly like the AirPods Pro. Uh, I mean, siguro, maybe it's Honor's answer for you not to buy overpriced earbuds that is just mediocre in sound quality. <laughs> Furthermore, in this video, we'll be doing an unboxing and first impressions of the Honor Choice Muaken. It's Muaken. You can correct me in the comment section if it's Muasin, but I kind of like the sound of Muaken than Muasin. Muasin sounds like a paint brand. <laughs> Before that, let's do a quick shout out to Gadget Hunter PH. They sent me this because I won from their giveaway, but this isn't the first time that I won from Gadget Hunter. Actually, my first time is the Plexstone G30, the gaming wired earphones. I did an unboxing and review of that. You can check that out right here. Oh, right, right here, right here. Oh. Or I'll be leaving the links down in the description. Also, the Halo GT1 XR giveaway is still ongoing. We are on the road for 1k subs. At the moment, we're already at 400 plus subscribers. So, onting onti na lang talaga. And, pansin ko rin, majority ng mga nanunod sa mga videos ko are not subscribed. Go hit that subscribe button. Wala na mamawa, wala kung gagoin mo yun eh. Just click the subscribe button. Come on. And if you want to win the Halo GT1 XR, I'll be leaving the video right here. Or, down the description. Anyways, here's the unboxing. So here's my first impressions. The buds have an unusual and unfamiliar shape for my ears, so it hurts on the first use. Though it's not so easy to fall off, I kind of like this type of design because you can hold it by their stem to adjust or remove it from your ears without disrupting your music experience. It is controlled through touch surface, which is a nice area on the earbuds. For music, double tap any earbud to pause and play. Hold right bud to switch to the next song. Hold left bud to switch to the previous one. For calls, double tap to answer and end calls. Then press any earbud for two seconds to reject incoming calls. And for voice assistant activation, Activation, triple tap in any buds. The controls are pretty nice. You won't accidentally play or pause any music when touching the earbuds. Unlike the Halo GT1 XR, we still functioning on one tap controls. Also, no volume controls for these earbuds, but for its price, I couldn't complain more. It also has this neat and cute sound effects when pairing and doing touch controls. It sounds like bubbles are popping or swooshing. I mean, for me, it is a neat feature. And I think premium earphones should do this type of things. And amplifying it wherein you can change the actual sound effects of the earbuds. Diba, diba? Changing it to a more futuristic sound like opening a an Iron Man armor or lightsaber sound. Yung mga ganun, mga ganun feature. Also, pairing was a breeze. At first, syempre, initial pairing, medyo magtatagal-tagal pa yan. Pero once kapag pair na sila, you only need to open the case to pair them to your smartphone. What's also great about these earbuds is that for having a budget tier price point, it's already on Type-C. First earbuds released and it's already on Type-C. Good for you, Honor Choice. Good for you. Though the port placement is inconvenient, I mean having it at the bottom of the case makes the charging experience fall flat. Get it? Because it looks like it's laying on the floor. 
falling flat. Flat. Repetitively opening and closing the case is prohibited by Honor Choice. First brand that prohibits users to play with their devices. <laughs> Does it mean anything? Is it Honor's way to subtle tell their consumers that the Honor Choice case build quality is whack? <laughs> Though opening and closing the case is quite satisfying, there is that snappy feeling. The snap sound when it closes. Kaya baka mahirap ang pigilin ng owner choice gawin yun ng mga users kasi sobrang saya niya gawin. <laughs> like that? See that? You're like lighting up a lighter. <laughs> Wait! Owner said magro ulit ulitin. That. It's so good. And what's great is you could also open it one-handed, just like I did. Though it lacks that premium feeling to it, the case really feels lightweight, though having a heavier weight than the Halo GT1 XR. Though I'd still prefer matte texture than bland, glossy plastic. It has a light indicator at the front, telling you if the case needs to be charged. And lastly, one thing I admire in this product is its user guide. It's informative, easy to understand. I mean, all the things you need to know before using the buds is here. It is truly a user guide. Unlike other earbuds user guide na sobrang nakakalito at sobrang misguiding, this guide shows you the initial startup, the initial thing to do before using the buds, has a lot of do's and don'ts, materials used in the earbuds, how the buds will lit up, and how the case lits up. I mean, natuwa lang talaga ako kasi walang Chinese characters sa earbuds na to. Even though Honor is kind of a Chinese brand. I mean, galing siya sa Huawei eh. So, pricing at 1,799 SRP. Same price as the Realme Buds Air Neo. Though this one looks like the AirPods Pro and the Realme Buds Air Neo looks like a AirPods, non-pro version. So, you, you lay that out in your mind. So that's my unboxing and first impressions of the Honor Choice Mwaken. Mwaken! I want Mwaken! Anyways, if you do like the content, be sure to subscribe and hit the notifications bell for you to get updated on every uploads that I make. I do it weekly. And guys, stay safe. White. White sand. Alright. That's really great. Magandang addition yun ngayon sa ating bansa. And damn, September 7 na. Opening na ng mga classes sa mga schools sa bansa. Just China, man. Yun lang, guys. See you sa next video. Bye-bye.